Good morning to everyone. I am Kingsley Azaria. I am doing 9th standard in Don Bosco Hair Secondary School. I am also a student of Junior IES Academy. In this video, we are going to see the fourth part of neuroscience. At the previous video, we saw about somatic sensations. In this video, we are going to see about the visceral sensations. And there is a new concept. In this video, we are going to see a new concept about sensory informations. All sensory informations are going to the central nervous system. But did you aware of all that informations? Did you conscious in all the sensory information which are going to your central nervous system? No. Some information you are aware. Those information are going to the consciousness level. But there are some information you cannot be aware on. Those information are not going to your consciousness level. But central nervous system is processing but it was not going to your consciousness level you will not aware of that information for example of those informations we can take blood pressure that information is going to your central nervous system and it is changing in blood pressure but you are not aware of that is that right? So, all the sensory informations which are going to your central nervous system, some do go to the consciousness level, but many of them do not go to the consciousness level. So, that is the question. Which part of your central nervous system determines the level of consciousness? Which part of your central nervous system determines the level of consciousness? I mean I say that the sensory information has came to the central nervous system. When it goes to a specific part, you will conscious of that information. But if it does not reach that specific part, you will not aware of that information. So which is the part of your central nervous system processes the information and make you to conscious on that information that that specific part is the cerebral cortex it is cerebral cortex this is the cerebral cortex which is concerned with the consciousness whatever information comes it takes to the consciousness level when a information is going to the central nervous system but it was not going to the cerebral cortex you will not aware of that information for example blood pressure did you aware of that no because it was not going to your cerebral cortex but when someone touches your hand you will be aware of that because it was going to your cerebral cortex so when a sensation when a information goes to your central nervous system but it does not reaches your cerebral cortex you will be not aware and you will be not conscious on that information but when it reaches your cerebral cortex you will feel you will conscious on that information so like this we are conscious in our incoming sensory informations so in this video we learned about how we are conscious in our incoming informations to our central nervous system in the next video we will see about the types of motor responses we will meet again thank you